This week on Atlanta Eats, Mara Davis and I hit the road in style in our Kia K900 and check out what might be one of the most exciting 10 miles in the world for food lovers. It's time to taste Buford Highway. Cuban sandwiches, crawfish po' boys, Korean barbecue, dim sum, sweet treats, tacos, bon mi, and more. It's Buford Highway for beginners. Hungry yet? There's one place in Atlanta to find the most original taste, the most incredible flavors, and the most authentic cuisine, and that place is Buford Highway. From original Mexican spots to Chinese and Japanese, what sometimes can be challenging is where do you go, and how do I find it, and what do I order? Well, today in Atlanta Eats, have no fear, sit right back, and learn about one of the most exciting places to dine anywhere in America. Today on Atlanta Eats, it's Buford Highway 101. First up, Mara and I meet at the Crawfish Shack to get our Cajun on. This is so cool. Cajun food right on Buford Highway, but like real Cajun, like crawfish, fried seafood, and all kinds of great stuff. You're the Cajun guy. Well, we gotta get everything on the menu. I mean, almost everything, because right. you're buying. This has to be the perfect order. My friend Mara's never been here, right? A lot of pressure. So we need to do the crawfish boil, right? That's old school. The shacktastic. We need a po' boy. So the crawfish po' boy. It's gotta be the crawfish. No, it. We gotta do lobster roll. So I think we're in good shape. Is wait, that wait, 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 wait. We gotta get a hush puppy. Okay. Oh well, yeah, we gotta go hush puppy. We gotta do that. After we order practically everything on the menu, it's time for a lesson on all things Cajun with Chef Hugh. So we've been waiting to go up and down Beaufort Highway in Atlanta Eats for such a long time, and now it's like happening. But there aren't a lot of places in the country that has this kind of, you know, mix of uh, cultures and foods and dive places and sushi places. And I mean, great examples where we're sitting, you know, like Cajun right. food and lobster rolls. And you've already, you already cheated on me because you've already been out doing your own thing today, right? Sorry, I'm just that way when yeah. it comes to food. First, we stopped at Cuban. Havana sandwich is like, an institution in Atlanta. Right. People have talked about it for 30 years. Well, the, the classic Cuban at Havana is like an Atlanta staple, right? It, it was insane. Melty, cheesy, delicious. It was great, and I was sneaking into the kitchen, seeing all the ladies right. make the beans, make the sandwiches. Had a mango shake smoothie. Wow. Loved it. Nice. Then, of course, we had to meet you, yep. but we had to stop at Lee's Bakery. And you which... had the banh mi. Now, the banh mi is just the bread. It's what you stuff inside that makes it incredibly special, whether it's pork, chicken, veggie, jalapeno, they do it right. At a sandwich under five bucks, it's perfect. So it's not complicated. Like, just tell people, go to Lee's Bakery and get the banh mi. When we come back, we dig into the shaptastic and Mara gets schooled on how to truly eat crawfish. You know, Buford Highway is a great place to come eat because it's easily accessible. You know, you're 15 minutes from Buckhead, and you can get here from anywhere, and it only takes a few short minutes. So to come over here and try, you know, different foods, a new place, it's perfect. Oh my god, oh, look at this. Oh boy, two lobster rolls. And nice. Hush puppy. Thank you. It's for me. Awesome, buddy. I'll be right back. All right, Wait, is go. this going to be enough? Because I don't know. No, we got more coming. <laughs> See how good that is? That's like a crawfish toast. You see how crunchy the bread is? Because a lot of times you screw up the po' boy if you don't have the right, the right bread. The fact they have lobster rolls out of Maine, look what's happening right there on a little hot dog roll. I know. I feel like it's almost too pretty to eat, but I don't care. The difference in Maine lobster and everybody else, I mean, you can see, look at the size of it. See, that's like a... That is a specimen of beauty. Guys. Uh -oh. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this. A finale. dome. The dome is coming. That. I mean, that is beautiful. That is... Chef Hugh, can we talk about what, what you got going on oh, over sure. here, buddy? This is like... So this is the Shacktastic, right? Correct. So tell me what's in the Shacktastic. We got uh, snow crab, Hindu sausage, oh. mussels, crawfish, shrimp, red potato corn, right. and uh, some blue crab. So uh, how do you know that you're eating like an authentic kind of, you know, Cajun? It's all about the boil. It's all about the boil. Does that mean in terms of spices or what? Spices and flavor that's uh, being put into the uh, season. 
You've been written up everywhere, the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal. What's more pressure, a journalist or chefs around the Atlanta area coming in? Chef, because uh, to have admirers from people that know food, and uh, for them to be here and compliment me, it's right. much more honor than just even, say, being written up in an article. You know how to, you show everybody how to work oh, one of these yeah, right here? sure. Mara's a little challenged when it comes to maneuvering the crawfish. It's got to twist some pull. And oh, pop wow. It like, pop it like a popsicle. That is the perfect squeeze right there. Mm. You really see how good. that meat? Now that's a pro. <laughs> that's good. Hey, buddy. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. All right. That is so nice to Thank see you. So this pleasure is meeting. so awesome. incredible. We're going to be here for a couple hours. Oh, okay. Bon appetit. Thank you. Thank you can roll us out. Actually, we can't stay here for hours because we have more stops, right? Yes. There is so much of Buford <laughs> Highway for us to see. There's miles and miles. This is a nice car, Stig. I'm liking it. This is our Kia K900. Traveling with Miss Mara, you got to travel in style. It's pretty fancy, just like you. We got a lot of places to check out. Right? Yeah, that wasn't enough. So I'm thinking a drive through, I'm thinking an afternoon cool down, and then we'll spice it up later. The beauty of Beaufort Highway is so many different kinds of food but all of them like super, super authentic. There is a little bit of everything. So you have to think of people that live in Atlanta from all over the world. Right. They're getting a taste of home when they come to Buford Highway. So like, you think people just are intimidated no, by, by I, Buford Highway? I think it has to do with doing a little research before you come. Right. It's very intimidating because yeah, there are a ton of restaurants. There are a ton of choices. And most things around here aren't even in English, but if you do a right. simple, Google search, you're watching Atlanta Eats, we're kind of directing you. So it just takes a few minutes to figure that out. And when you do try a couple for the first time, then you know to come back and you drive around and you ask around and you bring different friends. What about, uh, was it pho? Pho. What about pho? Pho is like the hottest thing, right? I think it's become like Americanized, right. but around here, you're getting the real. The real deal. If you want to try out some Vietnamese dishes, here are a few spots on our list. The Bon Mi at Lee's Bakery just rocks. And at just a few bucks a sandwich, you can literally try them all. Fo 24 for steaming bowls of noodles with the meat or veggies of your choice. It's served up in a delicious broth with all the fixings. Or head to Nam Phong, a great spot to get started if you're a newbie to Vietnamese dishes. You dig Korean. I love Korean, I love the kimchi, I love Korean barbecue, I love a clay pot. It's a lot of fun to go. It's an experience doing that. Right, I mean, barbecue. it's like a real night out, you know, to cook your meat right at the table also, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and everybody's getting into it, and sometimes you have to take your shoes off, and Korean is a real experience. Here are a couple of Korean spots to check out. Tofu House, with excellent tofu and vegetarian dishes and stews. But don't let the name fool you. There's plenty of options for everyone, including banchan, a smattering of tapas-like dishes. Another favorite spot is Stone Bowl House, with legendary bibimbap and their amazing Korean barbecue, bulgogi. And then the Mexican. And let's be honest, their original Mexican here is amazing. Like our spot here, Taco Velos. Uh, we're going to stop and get a taco. We have to. I because, need a taco. Because the Mexican on Buford Highway has got maybe the coolest collection of Mexican restaurants of any spot anywhere. I am so down with these tacos. How are you doing? We're doing awesome. We need a uh, barbacoa taco. Carnita. Give us a uh, carnita taco. And how about a little carne asada? How do you like our order? I think it's a good order. <laughs> All our foods in this little bag? <laughs> Thank you. Mm, that smells so good. I don't know how I'm going to share these with you. I got to stop. I, that smells too good. I need a bite now. I can't wait. You're going to get it. Because these tacos are just, oh, look at that. Ooh, that nice looks corn. so good. See that? Oh, that's the beautiful What, what is that right that's there? That's, that's, the that's the barbacoa. That's the barbacoa. Okay. Mm. 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 Yeah, there you go. What do you got going here? Mm. This is the pork? Mm -hmm. Carne asada, mm -hmm. come to Papa. Mm. This is mm. as authentic as it gets. Like, we could be in Mexico right now, right? Perfect pit stop. Perfect. Mm. You ready for something sweet? Mm-hmm.
When we come back, time for Mara and I to get our sweet tooth on at a bakery the likes of which you've never seen. Parking spot right in front. It's like they knew we were coming. Oh boy. It's beautiful, right? What's going on in this place, buddy? It's a Malaysian bakery. Yeah, but it's sweet, it's savory, there's unusual ingredients. We're looking at these roti buns, Mexico milk cream. Wow. I mean, this well, is. Well, let's go with a chocolate bun, right? Can't here. go wrong. Yeah. Then you ready? Can I do that? Look at the chocolate bun in the house. Hello. Okay, so. I love that buttercream. Okay, but we're we're right here. I'm we're, zeroing we're in on that buttercream. Let's get some mango pudding. Okay. I like this one. Taro almond bun. Can you tell that's like a heart? And they're so and adorable. They're like a dollar fifty. I know they're so inexpensive here. So this is a great thing. I, I would come Mike, here yeah. and get a bunch of these. Well, you're your little guy, Charlie. Yeah, but not only that, if you're going to a party, right. this is a great thing to bring and as a case. hostess gift or my, a host gift. My kids will go crazy over this place. And my kids go crazy over caterpillar chocolate. Can you work me some caterpillar chocolate Okay, in caterpillar the house? chocolate, even though I'm zeroing in on that buttercream. All right, so go both ends here. We're going to get for the whole crew. Well, yeah, we're only here once. Look at how beautiful that cupcake is. That is something else. Wow, look at that. That is a rainbow color flavor. Look at that violet down there. All right, what's the violet? Are we running out of There's room? There's some mochi. Oh, I mean, it smells look amazing. at that. That is just beautiful. We can't not get that. Okay. All right. I'm getting the same heart palpitations I get when I'm in Vegas. <laughs> how you doing? How do we? What do you think about? What, how do we do here? Do we get? Do we leave anything out? That's my favorite right there. This, this is my one. Favorite right there. This is your favorite. Like Where's all the baking happening? Right in the oh, back. Right in our back kitchen. Can, can I take a bite before you wrap yeah, it up? Sure, it's no problem. All right. How was that? How was that? How's things? I'll turn the money. Mm. What do you give us for a grade on our performance? Uh, what do you give us? I give you guys an A plus. A plus, and you have whipped cream on your face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys would like the sweetheart milk tea. Would you guys like a regular or large size? I think we do regular. Large. Anything else? You don't think we got enough? <laughs> I mean, we also have cakes too. I know those cakes. No mas. <laughs> When we come back, more Buford Highway for Beginners on Atlanta Eats. Japanese, you know, there's there's you know, there's outstanding sushi places literally right on Buford Highway. Because these are true Japanese chefs, and a lot a lot of times the fish is coming straight from Japan. Well, what people say about Buford Highway, and this is why the chefs always come here, is because you see these kind of delicacies that you see around the world. Look, right. if you go to the Buford Highway supermarket, you are gonna see products from everywhere, from India, from the Middle East, from China, from Japan. So if you want a true taste of the world, right. you get it here. It's really one of the things that makes the city so dynamic. I gotta tell you, I hear the same names though, There's, and that's the places that we're taking you to. These are the names of the places that keep coming up again and again. Oh, for sure. Buford Highway is a spot for Chinese in Atlanta. You got Cantonese cooking at Bobo Garden, and they are open late night as well. I love these great dumpling spots where it's soup dumplings and pork dumplings that are steamed and they're fried, and then handmade original noodles, Chinese noodles. And Canton House is clearly the go-to place for dim sum in Atlanta. Lots of options, from pork belly buns to delicious dumplings to spicy chicken feet for those who want to get adventurous. Bring the party here, and they will take your reservations. Dim sum, which is amazing. It's amazing, but sometimes I'm intimidated because I feel like I have to get everything. They come so fast. Right. You don't want to say no to anything. You don't and then you get overwhelmed. You got to slow them down. You do. You got to slow them down. Easy, cowboy. That's let's right. Just, let's enjoy the moment. The same ch three or four Chinese restaurants everybody loves. You know, Little Szechuan and Bobo Gardens, and of course, where we're going tonight, which is Goose Bistro. Oh, a classic. Goose Bistro is a Sichuan restaurant. My parents, they are from Sichuan. They have over 70 years cooking experience, so we know the food we are serving you. So is this your first time at Goose? No, not at all. We've been regulars for about, I don't know, two and a half, three years now. 
I fell in love at first bite, and um, we, we haven't stopped coming since. There are a lot of Chinese places, mm -hmm. and they have great food, but the Szechuan, um, with the, the different types of chilies, the numbing chili peppers, something I'd never had. Like, I'd, I'd love to eat, and until three years ago, I'd never had a Szechuan chili pepper. You know what this is right here? This is the end to like a perfect day, is it not? Well, not only has it been a perfect day, but it's been a perfect date with you. I know it, my girlfriend, <laughs> up and down Buford Highway. Eating all afternoon, into the night. Let's talk about Boo's Bistro, that is kind of like the mecca of Buford Highway. And this dish here, these are the pork dumplings and this sauce. Oh, I know. This may be the signature dish on the whole, on the whole street. They're spicy, they're sweet, the scallions on there. People literally come from outside of Georgia for this dish right here. So if, if you're watching the show, this is the absolute consummate, right? The spicy pork dumplings. And you know what? You could pour that sauce over a leather shoe and you could make it taste good. That's, that's what I love about Buford Highway are the, the sauces and the spices. Beaverton Highway is where adventurous foodies go to escape the ordinary dining scene. There's nothing like it in Atlanta. Right. Um, and what's best is it's these authentic places, and they're tucked away in these shopping centers. Right. So it's almost like a treasure hunt. Look, I love all these other cuisines. It's great. Mexican tacos. I love the bakeries. But look at this. I'm a Chinese food guy, well, right? This is the old, I mean, this is like the ultimate That's my core. Chinese town. That's my core. That's who I am. If you cut me, I believe duck sauce. <laughs> this is like your Christmas Eve oh, right this, here. This is like, look at that. See those noodles? How delicious. This is the this is the cold noodles. It's just amazing to watch the excitement people have mm -hmm. coming to Buford Highway. It's just so different than any other of the neighborhoods. It's not Inman Park, it's not East Atlanta, it's not Bucket. It's like the energy here just feels different. But this food is different. This is as good as anything you'd get in Chinatown. It's great that we have a section of our city that we can put up against any other major city anywhere. Buford Highway is so vast, it's so deep. There's so many hidden pockets in this area. And look at this place. I mean, people are lining up outside to eat. We're well, lucky we have connections. When Buford Highway really started to kind of explode, it was kind of organic that the whole world starts. I think Goose Bistro was the spot that really put it on the map. Absolutely. The Chung King Chicken. See what's going on here with the spice and all, I mean, these are flavors that you just, so it's, it's just. And you know what's so great about level. that? You know what's so great about that? That is going to taste even better tomorrow when you take it home. Yeah. Who's, who that. gets to take this home? Who does? You're the boss of me. I don't know. I'm paying, so, right? <laughs> so I guess it's you. I buy, it flies with me, so. Um, fair enough. You can pick one dish and I'll give you like a little bit, a little bit of leftover. So, this has been a great day. We gotta try to spend more time together. Why do you shut me out of your life? I never do that. I always call you. I never hear back. That's Maybe I get a text back. I call you Oz, the great and powerful. I always hear the big rumblings of yes. you, but I never Listen, really see you. Eat some noodles and okay. just be happy for the time we have tonight, all right? Okay, cheers. cheers. There you go. We do a little karaoke. I'm down. What are you singing? It's so cliche. Oh, what is it? Springsteen. A Born to Run? Glory Days. Glory Days. The most cliche if we did one together, Love Shack or anything from the Grease soundtrack. We're not doing Travolta. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>